All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another Discord music bot, this one called Uzox. Uzox runs off of uh, Spotify, SoundCloud, and Last.fm. To my knowledge, I'm not sure how up-to-date these older listings are for the bot, like the one here on top.gg, but I don't think, or at least I hope, that they don't run off of YouTube anymore, because if that's true, YouTube will probably eventually find out and then send them a cease and desist order. So what is Uzox? It's a bot that plays music. It allows you to turn your music cues into a playlist that you can save for later. And then you can also save favorites, do things like add DJ roles, and you can also play with different filters. So we're going to check that out here today. I've already been playing around with it here on my server, but like I start with every video, I like to kick them from the server and then show you how you can re-invite it to your server. I've been using the new Discord app directory. To get to the app directory, you go to the upper left-hand menu for your server, go down to your server settings, and then here, kind of at the top underneath of apps, is the app directory. We're going to look up Uzox here, and then we're going to hit enter. And then somewhere in here should pop up the, you can also search for music bots as well. And it says it plays the high quality lagless music from Spotify, SoundCloud, Deezer, Twitch, and more. So that's kind of like the overview of all the stuff that it plays and where from. You can kind of see like a preview of it here in this little video, although for some reason it doesn't want to load. And then all you have to do to add it is to click on add to server from here. It will make sure what server you want to put it on. I'm going to put it on my test server. It'll tell you all the permissions that it needs. This is all pretty standard, really. And then I'm going to verify that I am, in fact, a human being and not an alien replicant. And then we should be able to exit out. And then there it is. It says right here, while Uzox has appeared, and then it's ready to be used. We just type in the slash help command, and that'll tell us everything that we need to know. Now, this is one of those bots that separates their commands into several different categories. We'll start with the tracks category. And then that will populate a little posting here if it doesn't want to have a hiccup with all of the different commands like play, skip, pause, resume, search, now playing all of that good stuff so that you can play a song. And if someone jumps into a channel later and they don't know what song is playing, they can check what song is playing. And then we can also go look at the queue. It's got pretty standard controls. You can add stuff to the queue, remove it, loop the queue, skip to a certain point in the queue, all of that good stuff. And then there's also things like filters, controls for Spotify and Last FM. If you specifically use those services, I don't. You can save your queue for later as a playlist. You can favorite individual songs to be turned into a playlist later. And then they also have some basic settings down here. These are things like setting a DJ, which is the admin for the music bot. And you can also, which is one of my favorites, you can actually set a default channel for the bot so that it only listens to one channel so you don't have people spamming up the server with music commands in the wrong channels, something that I traditionally really hate. So let's just start by playing some NCS music. We'll just type in slash play and it'll ask for the name of the song or track that we want to, to play from. I'll just say no copyright sounds. And then that should grab an NCS song that we can listen to, which will play automatically. And then you can start adding as many songs as you want to the queue. We can just type in slash play. And then let's say I want to do Lunars Need You. And then we'll just add another one. And then after you've added a few songs, you have some different options to play with. But for starters, you should just pay attention to if you like the song quality and the playback quality of the bot itself. That's always important when playing around with any bot. And so far outside of the and like occasional hiccup here or there where the bot's like, oh, I'm sorry, I got a little overloaded for a sec. I didn't quite hear that last command. Could you put it in again kind of a deal? Um, I haven't had too, too many issues. It's been very responsive. It pops into the channel and starts playing nice, clear music. 
and it hasn't been like stuttery or laggy, at least so far when I've been playing with it. You've also got a couple different ways to control your music as well. Pretty standard is being able to control it with a command where I can say pause the music and then resume the music with a couple of different commands. But I can also open up the queue and I can see the queue and I can remove different things from the queue if I want to. So here you can see the current queue of songs. So right now it's playing the Need You song, but it also coming up is Get Out, or Get Out Here, and then Volcano. And I can at any time use the different buttons that they give you for different emoji buttons here in the middle of the chat in order to pause the song or to resume it if you click it again, which is very nice. It's also got controls like looping the, the, the queue, you can do random things from the queue and all of that good stuff. And you can also individually remove them with commands as well. So that's really nice. The other stuff that's kind of helpful, in my opinion, is being able to set a default channel for the bot. What was that command? That was set default volumes available as well, but we want a default channel. So we'll type in slash set default channel. And then I want to use the music controls channel. And then that's the only channel I want people to be able to use this bot in. So now I can type in slash help and get those commands here again if I want them. It also allows me to set a DJ role. So I've already got a DJ role set up. It's just called DJ. And what a DJ role is, is it's a meaningless role that you don't have to set any settings for. You just give it to somebody and tell the bot which role to pay attention to, and they become the admin for the, the bot, basically. So I can set the DJ and I'm gonna use the at DJ role. So now anyone with that role is an admin for the bot. And this means that they don't have to have any server commands or powers like being an admin or a moderator in order to help control the bot. Why is that useful? Well, you can give someone the ability to moderate the bots. They can remove troll songs or offensive songs or keep people from filling the queue so it plays a bunch of weird stuff nonstop and prevents people from being able to listen and enjoy because a lot of bots require a consensus among listeners in order to do stuff like that. So that's why it's kind of handy. Otherwise, you don't necessarily need to worry about a DJ role if you don't feel like you need one or if you've got plenty of admins around because anyone with the admin role with pretty much any bot generally has that ability already. So let's just go ahead and pause the bot for the moment. And then what we can do is we can look at the queue. So let's see what's still in the queue right now. And we can add these to a playlist if we want as well. So let's go down here and let's go to saved queues. And then what we can do is we can slash saved queue, save this current one. And then we just name it like um, basic. And this will automatically save all the tracks in this queue as a playlist that we can play later. So now we can clear the queue. And then we can save queue, play. And then we'll just say, let's play the basic one. Now, when we resume the queue, it should start over from that first song and and go from there from the very beginning. So that's kind of handy. You can at any time dynamically and quickly save a playlist from whatever you got in the queue, and then you can resume it later if you want to. Now, this also does require you to either remember the name of your playlist or constantly be looking up the playlist, but that's not too bad. The other thing you can do is they also have the ability to save individual favorites. I kind of like that. That way, if you like personally, if you want to save a, a, a song for later that you can listen to with a different group who uses the bot, you certainly can. And then you don't necessarily have to save every single song from the current queue as a playlist. 
So you've got two options there. It's very nice. And then the last thing, of course, is that they've got your standard list of different filters that a lot of bots have. You can make it sound like nightcore, karaoke, boost the bass. You can make it sound like a demon or some vaporwave or soft or hip hop. All of these ones that you see here, you can use in order to tweak things on the track, which is quite fun. Um, I'm uncertain if they have a premium version or not of this bot. Um, their website does not load for whatever reason, so I couldn't tell you. But they definitely have some decent quality music, and it is very responsive. Although, as you notice, I had one or two hiccups here or there. But if you just put the command back in, it generally just goes through, and it isn't a problem. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a brief look at Usox and all of the different stuff that it does. It's a pretty good quality bot. I haven't really had any big problems with it outside of one or two hiccups where it took a moment to respond to a re-entered command. But the sound quality has been good. It's got a bunch of really nice features, the ability to save cues as a playlist, to play songs by name from Spotify. It's got integration with a couple of different services. So check it out. It's for the low, low price of free, Although things like the tracks you might end up having to pay for, but I haven't seen any evidence that they force you to pay for anything or even vote for the bot. So you can find that in the app directory. It's called Usox, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.